Welcome back. In the previous part, we took out a giant, like, leviathan dragon thing that seems to be guarding Bavel, where Yuna is. So, let's go see if we can actually, you know, rescue Yuna. Would be helpful. Crazy physics. Yuna! Hmm. Something you may have noticed, though. In, like, the previous part. You see, you see where Yuna is up there next to Seymour? Off to the left. What, I think it was, like, one of the things that was holding up, like, the maybe candles and flowers and stuff had fallen over in the previous part when you like you saw that little clip of them standing up there but like here right now completely fine very strange anyway we need to proceed onwards and through these guys for some reason they're not shooting us yet which seems kind of weird that i can just stand here and talk for a while D do i need to heal up no we're fine okay then kind of strange Kinda of strange. Right, so, special. We'll go with use, um, smoke bomb. Takes damage and darkness on all enemies. Would be nice. Yeah, I got darkness on all of them. That's fine. That's fine. Right, delay attack on the guy in the middle, because he's probably the worst out of these three. And he's dead anyway. Some lovely counter attacks going on as a result of all that. Nice to have Riku around at the moment, because she can do that. i get you in, because these delay attacks are very, very important. Very important. It not take much to kill him. You can say stuff, you know, Riku. You can actually say stuff. I mean, I could sort out the spear grid, but nah. Right, so special. I think if I steal from this, it'll dismantle it, because it's actually a Machina. Yes, this is Yevon, but they're using Machina. 
No, it didn't do what I wanted. All right, so we'll delay its attack because it is a problem. You see, here's these guys. They're the issue. Riku, we can get the overdrive now, so I'm actually going to do that because I wanted to use that so much in the previous part, but I didn't get a chance to. Which is kind of annoying. Right, delay attack on that guy. Like I said, this, this big guy, he's a problem. He can kick you out of the battle, which is not good. Right, these underdog secrets. This is what I was trying to use in the previous part. You'll see why. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. Would have been nice to have that previously, wouldn't it? I would have taken it, taken out, taken out. Yep, took out the giant dragon thing. Much easier. Much easier. Oh well. I right, mean, got one of those big things at the moment, so that's good. So special use. Like I said, Riku is my healer at the moment. It's these lovely Albed potions. Skill, lay attack, guy in the middle. If I can, there we go. I need some more smoke bombs ready. They are quite useful. Quite useful. Do I have any more though? No. I have water gems. So it's like I'll throw them out. Not just on him. It'd be nice if it's actually on the other ones as well, but alright. Nice, so I do want it on him. Um, if I attack that guy, I might kill him. Yeah. It's just like, you, you're dead, mate. There you go. Say something, Riku, anything. It just seems so weird. All right then. I think this is the last set. I think. Special use. Um, let's throw a grenade out. Which is, you know, reasonably all right. Definitely want delay attack on those. Not too fussed about these guys at all, really. Just that guy on the end is an issue. Right, so it's like straight away delay attack on him. Problem is, it's like he's not delayed enough. So it's like, what do we do? We try and go with Lulu, I guess. So, Fyra. Mm, it's not enough. I didn't do kick, which would have got me completely out of the fight. That would have been a problem. I mean, it still might be a problem here. Because they might die. They did die. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Do I have... A Mega Phoenix. That is what I need for this. That's fine, that's fine. I need Riku back out. I need some AoE. Some group damage, that's what I need. So if you're not careful, these fights can go really badly, really, really quickly. Alright, so... Riku... It's like, again, my healer. She's my healer. Go. Does help get Riku's overdrive up as well, I guess. Because it is quite powerful now. It's quite powerful. Right, delay attack on you. But I want you to die. This is the thing. There we go. There we go. You're gone. I was like, I can, I can relax now, basically. Right, so let's just attack you. Throw out one of these overdrives with like Titus or Arden. Try and get things dead. Alright, throw out yours. Sword play. Slice and dice. First time. 
Not just him. I am assuming the middle one's dead. Good. Should have healed. I mean, it's a good job it's only one of them attacking me now, because it's like, I should have really healed there. Should have really healed. Special use Albed Potion. Alright then, so let's see here. We'll go with delay attack. Just go with normal attack. Yeah, I was gonna say that'll kill it. I'm hoping that's the last battle here. I'm hoping. We need to do our S levels at some point. We really do. No, is that not it? Alright, let's make sure we stay alive. Yeah, uh, let's see here. A high potions. We should really sort these. Help. Auto. There we go. Now it's still down there. It's very annoying. Very annoying. There we go. It's got this has gotta be the last set. Oh, of course the guys Stay at the right back. There, Seymour. Alright, calm down. Um, let's throw a, a grenade. Oh, oh, a grenade? A grenade. That's the one, isn't it? Yeah, grenade. Yes. Um, we don't want to waste anything there, so we'll go with that. It's like they're even using guns, though. Remember, they're, they're, like, they're not meant to be using stuff like this. This is forbidden by heaven. Banishing blade. Or do we want shooting star? It's like I want stuff that will attack all of them. Let's go with that. I think that's important. Okay. Move up and surround it. Alright, special. Let's try stealing from it, see what it's got. A remedy. It's alright. I mean, ow. See, now I will throw out a delay attack. Even though it's like, hmm. It's not really working well for me, that delay attack, though, is it? Phoenix down. Okay, skill, delay attack. Another delay attack. I do need a third delay attack, though. I really feel it. Like, a mwaka would make sense. So many S levels with Riku now. Really would help if I sorted that, to be honest. This has gone far enough. Stop. You would play at marriage just for a chance to send me? Your resolve is admirable. All the more fitting to be my lovely wife. <laughs> Stop! Do you not value your friends' lives? Your actions determine their fate. Protect them, or throw them away. The choice is yours.
you are wise. Sorry, but it is for Yevon. Aren't those weapons forbidden by Yevon? There are exceptions. No! Throw down your weapons. Let them go, or else. That explains why the flowers had fallen over. Leave now, please. You're coming with us! Don't worry, go! This is foolish. If you fall, you'll die. <laughs> Don't worry. I can fly. Believe. Imagine if it arrived too late. Cover your eyes! What... what was that? An all-bed flash bomb! Let me go! I'm gonna kill that Seymour! Yuna said leave. We leave. We'll join up with her later. Break through! Ah! Ah! Where'd Muni go? The Bell Palace is temple. Yuna goes to one place only. The Chamber of the Faith! We never get to that city sphere, by the way. Don't think. It's too quiet. A trap? Who cares? Yuna's waiting for us! Huh? What's a Machina doing in the temple? I suppose it comes in handy. That's not what I mean! The teachings! What about the teachings? Hey! Don't look at me! Yeah, I think we're slowly learning how big of a lie it all is. It's like, I try and go back here. I don't think we can ever get back to that save point. It's like... Like, later on you can go to other save points due to using some other device that flies around in the sky, like some kind of ship that's in the air. Strange. You can go to other places, but I don't think you can ever get back to that one. 
It's like it's it's never used. It's strange. Um, I need to actually get down now. I was like, go on then. Another machina, man. So this is Yevon's true face. They betray their own teachings. <sighs> they treated us like dirt. Indeed they did. Right, so, I'm thinking that, isn't there somewhere I can make a save? I think there's somewhere I can make a save. Yeah, down there. The entrance to the trials. I wonder if Uni's really in there. Let's go and see. Let's go. Kamari's clearly going to have a few... Oh, no. He's not going to say anything. Okay. Right. Well, I'm going to make a save right now because um, I want to actually go check on this trial that's coming up because it can take a while. Let's put it like that. There we go. Checked up on it. Let's go have a look then. If I can actually get through the door, would help, wouldn't it? Right, here we go. Th this one becomes a nightmare if you don't know what you're doing, basically. I basically got a list from watching my previous video on it from the previous Let's Play, which was terrible. It's just got to remember if I've done this right, that's the thing. It is just waiting now to see if I can get to the right place, right? Confirm direction. I need to get loads of spheres all over the place. I want to go right here if I can. There we go. So take us all the way down to the bottom if I go right. It's forward at this point, but still. Right, so we need to go down. I'll get us a, another Bevel sphere down here, which is exactly what we need. This is more options up top. Right, then there's the Bevel sphere we're after. The strange, like, the technology in this game is very, very strange in several places. It's like, how, how do you have, like, this kind of system in place, and hidden from view, and people don't know about it, or do they know about it? Are they complicit? That's the question, really, isn't it? Alright, so... Should be heading back up top, I believe. I want to go to the right once I get up to the top here, and then the first right that I can. And there's not much else I can go, so... That's not the way I wanted. I wanted the other way. Because there's a sphere here, and I don't want that sphere yet. I've got to go. I've got to go the opposite way. It's the, way. it's the only problem with this place. It's like you can easily go the wrong way, and then you got to try and push these as well, which becomes a nightmare. Luckily, falling off the edge makes makes it all all better again, as you do. So I'll just fall off the edge here, or I could go that way and go left this time. There we go. That's that's the way I wanted. Right. So let's get a bezvel sphere. Give me a bezvel sphere. Come on now. Let's put that in there. That's what I want. Lovely. So now we've got the option to actually go that way, which is fairly nice. Don't have to do it this way, by the way. I could have got the other Bevel Sphere before. There's little differences you can do in this to get the same results, but I like doing it this way. Yeah, personal preference, all that. Let's just fall off the end so you can see what I mean. Bang, bang, bang. Right, we'll skip this one at the front here. Now we do want the left way. There we go. Go. Now get behind you. Put that 
in there. Right. So we're basically, basically done for this part now up the top. Right, so I want to fall off the edge because it's just the easiest way to do it. But I could press the thing there. It's just like, nah, it's more fun to fall off the edge. So I want to go down to the bottom now. So now we do want this one. There we go. And we want to go left down here and all the way to the end. I just think this one stops me and it gives me the option properly, so it's like, right. There we go. Right, all the way to the end. This, this is where it gets tricky. SSX tricky. That kind of tricky. Right, all the way to the end. So it's like, I want to spam X now. I think it fell off the head. Yeah. This is this it's just annoying. There we go. Alright. For not not fall off. I was gonna say fall off the end now. I was like, no, I don't want to fall off the end. I, I want to I want to actually go to the correct location. It's like it, it's not lining up properly. That's the issue. It's like, ah, oh, just give me the right timing here. Pretty please. Pretty please give me the right timing. Please game. Please game, 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 please, game, 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 please. There we go, first time. I like it when it does it first time. It's, it's very nice, isn't it? It's very nice. Right, so what we want to do here is activate this bridge. Now, the reason we're doing this first here is because we need to get a glyph sphere to use over there so we can actually get the destruction sphere because the dest destruction sphere is actually very well needed in this. Is it very well needed? That makes no sense, but, you know, we, we need to use it, but we need a glyph sphere now. But we needed an open slot here to actually pick up the glyph sphere. It's very complex. Very, very, very complex. Very complex. Alright, so let's fall off the end because that's the easiest way to do it. Right, so now I think it's. Let me just check. Do, 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 do. I think. I think it's the second one that I have to go for. So not, not this one coming up, the one after. Could be wrong. No, this is correct, because so that's got a glyph sphere. Yep. We're in the right place, we're in the right place. Alright, let's go get you. Right, now we want to go back to basically where we just were. That in. Lovely. Barely see the glyph sphere there. Barely see it. So we want to try and get to the right again. Come on. See, this is nice. It's slower. So you get more chance to press that at the end. Get the get, the, get that. Thank you. Taking that out, put that in there now. It's just a step-by-step -step thing, really, this. Let's right, so take the destruction sphere. And put that. No, don't push it. Put it, put it, put it, put it, put it in there, put it. There we go. Lovely. Lovely. Alright, so now we go again. We need to come back and get this Bevel sphere. After we've done the destruction sphere. This is very complex, very complex. And the reason we do that is so we can get a chest further up. Because we won't be returning here, by the way. This is basically our only chance to get the chests. There we go, lovely. Alright, so we want the second location again. I'm gonna put the destruction sphere in the right location. There we go. It's all fairly simple. Once you, once you get the first set of stuff going and you, you get to this point, it's fairly simple now. So now we need to take out the destruction sphere. Put it over here. Hello? So it was taking its time. Okay, so that's that done. That's why it's like, you need to do that. If you don't do that, I, I don't think you can actually proceed. It's like the only destruction sphere that's needed. 
part of the story, really. There we go. I like it from there because it slows you down. Might be worth doing other times, maybe. Just so, like, like before when I kept falling off the end. Just go to an earlier one so it slows me down. Just keep spamming X until I get to the right location. There we go. We're pretty much done, by the way. Just so you know. Just so you know. Let's get on. Fall off the end. Now we need the first turning after we set off forward. And then we're, we're done. Pretty much. We can get the chests. Go. Yep. That's that's us done. We, we finished the clock. Oh, there, there is a little bit here. I don't know why they put this here. This bit's just annoying. It's like, why put that there? Why why put that there? There's no need. You just have to push it again. What does that, what purpose does that serve? Like at all? I, I don't know. Someone tell me. Is there a point to that bit? Like if you do this in a different order, it, 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 does 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 that come into play somehow? I don't know. Just don't know. Okay, you can see all below. Right, so let's go up and get a chest and touch a pad which is below the chest. HP sphere, lovely. Oh god. Big flashy light. Let's just get 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 sphere. Get sphere. Lovely. Alright, go. I mean, you can see it like going across the little. What do you call it? Even like, like a pipe? I suppose? The glowy pipe? I don't know. I just don't know. There we go. A night lance. I think that's a weapon for Kimari. But yeah, that's us done for this part then. The Bavel Cloister has been complete, and we shall see you in the next part when we proceed onwards down here. So we'll see you then. Ta-ta for now.